Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the game over tinnies, okay? So, okay, in this song, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the, uh, let me see, okay, it's the verse section, because this verse section is every single time it's played two times, and also in this song, it's played a total of three times as well. So, it's kind of like two times three, so it's actually six times. In fact, it's actually played more than the chorus section, okay? Because the chorus section is pretty short, and yeah, okay? So this verse section is super catchy. Go somewhere like this before I start teaching it. I'll give you a preview. Sound somewhere like this. Check it out. fast but I'm just showing you and telling you that is actually repeated two times but anyway let's go ahead and start learning it let's break up this section into four main sections okay because well four main parts not four main sections so four main parts so it's easier to learn like that okay so the first part it goes like this for the right hand it starts on the G here so middle C's here we go up to the G right here okay so it goes four G's one two three four and then up to A flat G and then two F sharps G, F sharp, just like that for the right hand. All right, one more time, so it goes like this. It goes four Gs, one, two, three, four, and then A flat, G, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp. All right, so that's the right hand for this first part of the section, all right? So the left hand, we have two chords here, the two chords are, okay, so before I start teaching the uh, pattern that I was playing in the preview, I'll teach you the block chords first. In the end, I'll teach you the pattern and tell you what you can do and make it like that, okay? But anyway, so the two chords are C minor, which is C, E flat, G, followed by D major, which is D, F sharp, A. All right, so with these two chords in mind, so C minor, followed by D major, the two hands will just go like this, okay? So it goes G and C minor together, so it's like together, F sharp and D major together, just like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this, so it goes together. Okay, so one main thing that you have to remember in this song is to focus on the counting because this song is actually in 6-8, so it's uh, kind of like triple time. So it's like one, two, three, two, two, three, and then one, two, three, two, or you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, if you want as well. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. That's a very important thing to know in this song because it's kind of in this like waltzing kind of theme, okay? So it's in the six, eight, triple time. Remember that, okay? Because if you can count that way, it would sound proper. If, you can, if you're counting in four, it doesn't make sense at all, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the second part now. So the second part for the right hand, it goes to the F. It goes four Fs, one, two, three, four, G, F, and then two E flats, and then F, G, like that. All right, so that's the right hand. The rhythm, you can see the same pattern for it, for the right hand, but just different notes. Okay, one more time, so it goes four Fs, one, two, three, four, and then G, F, and then two E flats, and then F, G, okay? So that's the right hand for this second part. Uh, left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are G major, which is G, B, D, followed by C minor, which is C, E flat, G. All right, so with these two chords in mind, so G major and C minor, the two hands together would just go like this. So it goes F and G major together, E flat and C minor together, just like that. Yeah, one more time, so it goes like this, together, Together. So same counting as well, remember to count in sixes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So at the end note, it's always holding for kind of like uh, the rest of the beats as well. But anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the third part now. So the third part, the right hand continues on to this A flat. So 
Little C, A flat, I guess. So it goes four A flats. One, two, three, four, B flat, A flat, G, up to C, D, E flat, like that for the right hand. One more time, so it goes four A flats. So it's one, two, three, four, B flat, A flat, G, up to C, D, E flat, like that for the right hand, okay? So once you get that, um, left hand now, so the left hand we have two chords. The two chords are F minor, which is F, A flat, C, followed by C minor, which is C, E flat, G. Okay, with those two chords in mind, so F minor, followed by C minor, the two hands go together like this, so it goes A flat and F minor together, so it goes together, G and C minor together, just like that, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this, together, Together. Okay, so before we go on, I actually forgot to do it back to back, like after each part. So let's go ahead and show you how uh, what we've learned so far. The three parts would be played back to back like this. Okay, so check that out. It goes like this. So from part one, part two, part three, it goes like this. So that's what we've learned so far, okay? So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the fourth and pretty much the last part before this section repeats itself, okay? But anyway, the fourth part, right hand, it goes four Ds, one, two, three, four, C down to A, and then two Bs, and then C, D, like that. And that's the right hand for the fourth part. One more time for the fourth part for the right hand. So it goes four Ds, one, two, three, four, C, A, B, B, C, D, like that for the right hand, okay? So once you get that for the right hand, the left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are D major, which is D, F sharp, A. And then we have G7. G7, this chord, it contains the four notes, okay? So G7 is pretty much G, B, D, F. So it's pretty much G major plus an F at the top, okay? So yeah, one more time. So the two chords are D major, and G7, remember these two chords, okay? So once you do, the two hands together would go like this. So the first D and D major together. And then B and G7 together. Just like that. All right, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes together, two, three, four, five, six. Together, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see that the pattern, the rhythmic pattern, throughout all the parts is always doing that. Together, two, three, four, five, six, together, two, three, four, and then you hold the five, six, pretty much for the end notes, okay? So, with that pattern in mind, it will make it a lot easier for you to play, okay? But anyway, so yeah, let's go through the four parts that we've learned so far, because it actually repeats itself. So after you've learned these four parts, you actually repeat itself and play it one more time. So it goes like this. In fact, just play it back to back like this, so it goes, Make sure you count it this way, like the rhythm, because I'm gonna teach you how to do the uh, comedy pattern soon, and counting that six is very important. So, together, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Together, two. Together, two, three, four, five, six. Once you can do this like this, like either counting out loud or in your head, like out loud is obviously very good because it kind of allows you to multitask and also get you to actually know the finger uh, placement of the two hands. Yeah, once you can do that, let's go ahead and teach you how to do the accompaniment pattern. It's really easy for the accompaniment pattern. So it goes like this. For every chord you do, you want to do the lowest first and then the higher two twice. And then you repeat that again, lowest higher two uh, yeah so that's why it's one two three four five six check it out so one two three four five six so essentially is low highest highest low highest highest okay 
So when you're doing the highest, it's the two highest notes in the chord, okay? So even for the G7 chord, it's just low, and then high, it's three, and then high, high, three, high, three, like that. So all of the chords, you substitute for that pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you just play it, coordinate it with your right hand like this. So it just goes. have fun like this last part is for those who have finished coordinating your left and right hand with the basic chord version and then you want to just know how to accompany that pattern dun, 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 dun. and then yeah just have a try to practice that last like accompany pattern because um before that you must really actually practice the uh, chord and melody easy version first or else you just get gonna get confused so make sure you master that first then move on to what I just taught you at the end okay but anyway as for now hope you enjoy this go ahead and enjoy my full cover of this song I've done the full entire cover of song because it's actually for patreon and this is just like a bonus because I heard it it was like super catchy I was like oh I guess I must yeah do a uh, tutorial video for this one as well just as a bonus okay but anyway as for now if you're interested in all this stuff check out my website bestpianomethod.com I do a lot of these like piano cover and like um tutorials and stuff so go and check that out and as for now remember to subscribe if you like what you see and yeah enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services as for now enjoy your time around my channel subscribe and See you next time.